What's up guys? My name is Azure Raiden and welcome to this little vlog thing here that I'm going to be doing for you today. I actually have two parts to this vlog. The first part is just going to be a couple of little updates regarding the channel and different things going on. The second part is going to be the YouTuber Happy Hour Challenge. Nobody really issued me the challenge, I just feel like doing it because it looked like a lot of fun and because I like making drinks. So that's going to be the second part, but the first part we're going to get into is going to be just some updates. First and foremost, my wife actually got me a little beanie thing. It's a beanie. Do I beanie correctly? I have no idea. I might start wearing it in videos, let me know what you think. It's a thing, I don't, I'm not really used to beanies, so I don't know how it's supposed to look. Second thing I want to discuss is the IndieBox unboxing videos that I've been doing lately. The IndieBox subscription has actually run out and I'm not going to be renewing it. It's a little bit too much money for me to be able to spend right now on something like that and I'm just not going to be able to keep that up. So I'm glad you guys still like the videos that I made for IndieBox. I love the boxes that I got. I love all the collectibles. I still think it's a great service. Someday in the future I might go back and look into it, but at least for now that series is going to be no more. Third thing I want to mention is that in my Raiden vlog for 2016, I pushed the idea of trying to make this a more community-based channel, and that's something I still want to strive for. And one of the things that I feel might help with starting to unify us as a community is if we give ourselves some type of a title. I don't know what that will be, but a lot of channels have titles for their subscribers, such as like CK Nuggets or I've heard uh, Fluffy Tales. Um, God, there's. A lot of, there's more than this, there's more than just two. I'm sure you guys even have them or have seen them before. Official Buddies is another one I've heard of. Napkins has one, but I don't remember where hers are. There's a lot, okay? A lot of different channels will actually uh, designate a title for their subscribers. I don't know, does that help? Will that make us feel more unified? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm really curious to know. If you feel like it's a good thing in the good direction, then throw some suggestions down in the comments for what you think we could be. I have the idea of maybe Raiders, but I'm not really sure because of Azure Raiden, Raiden, Raiders, that type of deal. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think. I don't really have any idea. But if there are different, if there's enough interest in it and there's enough suggestions in the comments, then I'll throw up another vlog. We'll do like a vote and we'll figure it out and we'll decide it as a community. But at least for now, it's just a thought. Fourth thing I want to discuss, still on the lines of a community based building thing, I want to actually start doing more vlog type videos with you guys and I actually want to start doing challenge videos and I want to try and get my buddy Tom involved. My buddy Tom joined me for the 500 Q&A video that I'll throw up like over here somewhere and you guys can go watch that and meet Tom and see how he is. He's really really funny, he's a great guy but he's a little bit shy in front of the camera so we have to break him of that and we have to try and convince him that this is the place he wants to be and he needs to join me in these videos and be funny for you guys. So I want to try and get him involved in more challenge videos. So that's the direction I want to go. I want to just start putting up challenge videos to do a different type of content, a different type of edit, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. So if you guys have challenges that you know of, put them in the comments below because I only really know of a couple. So yeah, I'm really curious to see how that goes and it's going to be starting sometime soon. I don't know when. I got to get him over and we got to start recording those. So. Keep that in mind guys, any challenges you think of, put them in the comments, I'll write them down and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see how they go. But that's all the updates that I have as far as the vlog portion of this video. The next thing I'm going to move into here is going to be the YouTuber Happy Hour Challenge. Like I said, nobody issued this challenge for me, I just decided to do it on my own. What I'm going to do for you guys today is I'm actually going to show you how to make blue margarita. First thing you're going to need is some tequila. It doesn't really matter what type of tequila. Um, this is Mr. Cuervo, Mr. Jose Cuervo. It doesn't have to be Jose Cuervo. It could be any type of tequila. It could be gold or silver. It doesn't matter. Next thing you're going to need for a blue margarita specifically is blue curacao. Blue curacao actually replaces triple sec. In a regular margarita, the recipe calls for triple sec. In a blue margarita, you go blue curacao. That's what gives it the blue color. Blue curacao tastes exactly the same as triple sec. There's no difference. It's still a citrus based flavored liqueur. And either way you go, it's going to be exactly the same flavor. It's just one's going to be blue, one's going to be yellow. Next thing we're going to need is some lime juice. Not a lot of lime juice, just a little bit. Unfortunately, they don't really sell it in smaller bottles than this, or at least from here anyways, but this is the smallest bottle I found of it. Last thing is the mixer. Just going to be some sweet and sour mix. It doesn't matter what kind, just any type of sweet and sour mix, whether you make it yourself or buy it in this bottle here. It doesn't matter, just some type of sweet and sour mix. A drinking glass, some margaritas, you can salt the rim or you can sugar the rim. It doesn't matter either way. I'm not going to, but if you really want to do that and you want to be fancy, 
then you can do that yourself and figure it out. You're also gonna need some ice, which I have in the freezer over there, and something to shake it with. Also something to measure with. You need something to measure with, I'm using a shot glass. First thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get one and a quarter ounce of tequila. So it's gonna be one full shot of tequila, and then a quarter. The next part is going to be your blue curacao. It's gonna be three quarter ounce of blue curacao. It took me this long to realize I didn't have my light on. Yeah, whatever. It's gonna be a little dark in the front of this video. I don't feel like doing it again. This is the second time I've had to do this. Moving on, we got the blue curacao, three quarter ounce of blue curacao. We're gonna do just a little bit of lime juice, not a lot. It calls for a half an ounce, but really you just need a splash of it. Anything more than that, you're gonna overpower the drink. So just a little bit. That's probably too much, but hey, whatever, that's the thing. Now we're gonna fill it with ice. I'll be right back. Cup full of ice, check. Top it off with your sours. All right. Now I'm gonna pour the contents of this drink into this tin shaker so I can shake it up without making too much of a mess, preferably. And you want to make sure you give this a good shake. Anything citrusy or sour, you want to make sure you shake it. If it's a soda based product, you don't want to shake that because it'll shake all the carbonation out of it. And then pour it back into your glass. And enjoy. Yeah, a little heavy on the lime juice, but it still tastes good to me. That's pretty much it guys, that's it for the blue margarita. Uh, feel free to make one yourself, a little bit easier on the lime juice, but that's the recipe. I put the recipe over there so you guys can be able to copy it and write it down and buy the ingredients and make it yourself. A lot of these ingredients really don't cost that much. I think even for this like massive bottle of blue cure, so it's only, for, it's only like maybe seven or eight bucks. So it's really not that expensive. So yeah, that's it guys, that's it for this video. Let me know any of your thoughts in the comments below about anything discussed in this video as far as any of the vlog topics that I made. Let me know what you think about the blue margarita. And uh, if you make one yourself, let me know what you think of it. I think it's really, really good. Margaritas are actually one of my favorite drinks. But that's it guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that little like button, let me know that you did. Also consider subscribing to the channel. If you enjoyed myself and the content that I create. And as always, stay awesome friends. Later. Hello? Hello? Hey buddy! It took me a while to find you. Hey! Yo, buddy! Yo! Hey! Relax! Relax! You guys do not understand personal space. You really don't.